Right now, though, 70 degrees in Orlando, 65 in Sanford, and good evening, Deland. You're currently at 61. These temperatures right now are about 2 to 11 degrees cooler than where we were just 24 hours ago, and that is courtesy of a cold front that is now well to our south, and you can see behind it dry conditions. First warning radar not tracking any rain out tonight, but boy, do we get some quite a bit earlier, especially for areas up north. Palm Coast and more than two and a half inches of rain. Ocala, you picked up almost two and two quarter, two and a quarter. St. Cloud, a little over an inch and a half and East Daytona over an inch and a half of rain there. So definitely some beneficial rain with that cold front that moved through. Look ahead for tomorrow morning behind that front. We will see some much cooler air. So as you wake up tomorrow morning, expect temperatures in the Orlando Metro in the low 50s areas up to the north that will be starting off into the 40s. So as you walk out the door tomorrow morning, you're likely going to need to grab that jacket. And even in the afternoon, you might keep it handy because high temperatures only climbing into the upper 60s to low 70s tomorrow afternoon. Our average high is right around 79. So we will be a little bit cooler than where we are normally be this time of year. Tomorrow, though, great day to get outside. We are going to continue to see dry conditions tomorrow as well. So bright sunshine by lunchtime and a great evening in store, but clouds will start to thicken up after sunset tomorrow evening. Still remaining dry for Wednesday. Tuesday's looking great out there. Thursday and Friday look absolutely nice as well. We stay on the cool side Tuesday, Tuesday and Wednesday, but we do gradually warm up the temperatures a bit for Thursday. And by Friday, high temperatures will be back into the low 80s up ahead of our next cold front that is expected to move in over the weekend. Over the next couple of days, though, keep those jackets handy, especially in the morning. Lower 50s tomorrow morning in the metro. Wednesday, we will start off in the upper 40s. Thursday, upper 40s as well. And then Friday, back into the 50s. So noticeably cooler the next couple of nights. So you will need those jackets or even like coats for folks up to the north. Looking ahead for the upcoming weekend, that's when we're tracking our next cold front moving through. That, that's going to bring showers and thunderstorms, especially for Saturday. 60% rain coverage expected for Saturday. The front should be to our south on Sunday, so we'll still see some lingering showers around, mostly again for I-4 on southward, keeping that 40% rain coverage around. Look ahead for next week. We'll still see a few lingering showers for Monday of next week, but you can see these temperatures are still on the cooler side. We definitely noticed the humidity going down quite a bit. I'll show you what it's going to feel like in terms of that humidity this week. Coming up next time when I see you in the next half hour.